So today I am trying something that has intrigued me for a while, to be quite honest. Um, since I do a lot of wine stuff on Facebook and Twitter and the internets, um, I naturally get a lot of ads thrown my way. I've been seeing a lot of things for this thing called 90 plus sellers. And I just thought it was another winery. So I just kind of scrolled on, didn't do anything. Well, then someone reached out and said, hey, um, would you be interested in a sample? And so you can review it on the site. So I said, sure, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and review it on on the site. So send it to me. Uh, and then I started digging into it a little bit more. And they have a very interesting concept. So the concept, and they started back in 2009. The concept is, let's find these wineries that had some um, excessive stock or stock that wasn't quite selling as well as the winery thought they would, and then let's take them and re like rebottle them under a different winery. 90 point and drop the price on them and sell those units. So the winery was a plus for them because they were getting, they were selling some of their inventory and they were getting space for new inventory that would sell for the next year. Uh, and these guys got uh, a great deal because they probably made a great deal on, on buying the wine and then they had a product and they didn't actually have to make the wine. Um, but they handpicked the wineries that they reached out to and targeted the ones that, had, that they said had great quality of wine. So uh, this is where I'm getting very, excited about this is because um, the one one of the ones they sent me, they sent me three and I'll, I'll, I'll be doing one of these. So I'm not sure I'll be doing all of them, but today I'm doing one of them. And it's the 90 plus sellers uh, Grand, uh, Grand Vino. It is a Tempranillo, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Graciano mix. It's from Navarra, Spain. It's 2012, uh, lot 28 if you care about that. And it's 14.5% alcohol by volume. Um, so Let's go ahead and test this thing out. I'm very excited about this. I've been very much into Spanish mixes lately. And in case you have never seen one of these things, these contraptions, these little Houdinis, they're amazing. Uh, and I will put a link because I have them on my website store as well. Um, they're just, <laughs> they just make opening wine so easy, so easy. So um, I'll just set that aside. But this is what I want to talk about. So. For a sample. All right, so from a coloration standpoint, um, very dark red, very, very dark red. Uh, I don't see any artifacts, no cloudiness, so the clarity is good. Um, judging by <laughs> the legs, which are like streaked here and not moving, you can definitely tell uh, this would be a higher alcohol wine, <laughs> those legs aren't moving. They're, yeah, they're staying put. Um, but I'm okay with high alcohol wines because, you know, just embrace everything, right? So um, from a nose standpoint, ooh, that is very interesting. You definitely get that extreme fruitiness of the Tempranillo, but then it feels like there's like a little bit of a heaviness that the Merlot naturally brings. It's a very red fruit base, so it's like red cherry. Um, what might be like a hint of strawberry with a little bit of raspberry. A lot of red fruit. I'm getting a bit of that oak. And now that I've been breathing in a little bit, the alcohol is definitely prominent in that. So, ah, uh, yeah, okay, so enough talking about it. I wanna try this, because I'm actually excited about it. Now, now that is interesting. So from a taste standpoint, definitely, definitely has high alcohol. I'm gonna say probably moderate tannins. Um, it it definitely has an oaky flavor to it. Um, I'm gonna say French oak. Let's see if the ball says. Partially fermented in French oak, aged in new barrels for a year, and then kept in the bottle for a year. Okay, so yay for me. I know wood. Yeah. Um, Man, it's it, you're definitely getting that. Now I'm getting more of like the raspberry and, and like a strawberry element than I am 
with the cherry. But I'm gonna change it. I'm not gonna say it's a red cherry, I'm gonna say it's a black cherry. It's a different type of flavor profile, but it's there, it shows up for me in the finish. But it doesn't last very long because then the kind of like that little strawberry kick that I'm noticing happens, like kind of pops back in. The, the the taste up front is more of the raspberry for me. Um, not, I, I mean, no real noticeable amount of acid to it. Not that it isn't, that it doesn't have acid, it's just, it's not one of those things that was kind of like zinging my tongue like a high acid wine would. So I'll probably say this is about a moderate acid wine. Um, so, let's say the finish is probably about a medium finish. Yeah, so 90 point sellers, Gran Vino, what am I going to rate to you? I'm going to rate you a good. This is good. This, oh, by the way, this is $12. And this is a good wine. Um, this is a really good wine. I'm, I'm actually debating whether or not I'm, hold on. Ah, okay, so. So this is, this is gonna be one of those things where I might need to crowdsource this because on one side, I have good. It's good, it's really good. It's a solid good. Part of me wants to put it into great. So, um, so here's what I need to do. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to say this is good. But I need y'all's feedback. So um, there, there are stores that are around the country that sell this. You can actually go to their website and I'll put a link uh, below uh, so you can go and take a look at their website. And if you want to order some stuff, order some stuff from them. Um, I endorse them regardless. But if if you guys want, go ahead and pick up some bottles or, or if you've already tried it for yourself, leave a note in the comments below. I'd be very interested to know what you guys think of this wine um, because I'm really on the fence as to if it's, a really outstanding wine or if it's just really really good like there's it's very difficult for and for me it could be just whether or not I had a good day or a bad day or something like that so it, it could be on the fence there but that's where I need y'all to come and comment on it if you've tried it yourself uh, or if you know someone who has and you can get you know like a friend of a friend or a friend type thing and, and just kind of like talk and they have it and you get the answer from them you can post it that's fine or get your friend of a friend of a friend to do it. That'll work too. Uh, but regardless, let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, I'd be interested to hear back from you. And also let me know if there's any other wines that you want me to review. Like I said, I have two more of, uh, I have the Chianti and uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon uh, that they sent to me, so I'll be trying those soon. Um, so yeah, yeah, let me know. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, um, I'm just going to go enjoy this. This is just, I'm going to go enjoy this. You should too. See you.